Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here coming to you from Chalmette Battlefield. Chalmette Battlefield and National Cemetery. On January 8, 1815, British forces in the War of 1812 marched against Andrew Jackson's line of defense in Chalmette, Louisiana, just east of New Orleans. The British came up the river from the east to attack Jackson and his troops to seize control of New Orleans in what would end up being the final battle of the War of 1812. Thankfully, the British were unsuccessful in this and ended up retreating, and the war essentially ended not too much longer after that. Inside the visitor center here, they've got a mock-up of the area that was essentially attacked by the British, the line of defense that Andrew Jackson had set up. Here's some bayonets and handguns that were used by the British during the War of 1812. This is the uh, military drum used by American troops. You can lift some of the smaller cannonballs that were used during this period of time. Lift them up and see how heavy they were. Some were three pounds, some six pound, and some 12 pounders. So just outside the visitor center is the Chalmette Monument. It was put up to recognize Andrew Jackson and his troops for the battle that took place here. The monument stands about 100 feet tall, and the process to build it began in 1840, but it wasn't completed until 1908. My sister and brother-in-law are already at the top of this thing. Let's go walk up to the top and go check it out. A lot of steps. I'm completely out of breath. Yeah, I got the block there. Oh. There are wasps all over the outside of this thing. There's only like two bees off in here. Yeah, there's like two bees. You serious? That's beautiful. <laughs> it's still worth the walk up here. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it goes down. Down will be easier. Huh? Down will be easier. Down will be easier. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're walking over to the actual site of the Battle of New Orleans. It's pretty incredible to be out here knowing that so many years ago this incredible battle took place between the British and Americans fighting over this piece of land, fighting over the city of New Orleans, part of Louisiana. It's just an incredible thing to think about knowing it happened right here right at this spot. I can just picture all these troops standing on this side of the wall right there and then looking out seeing all these British troops coming at you, charging at you. Cannons firing, guns firing. It must have been a very incredible thing to see. Not to mention it's very beautiful out here. But this spot right here, from what I understand, this is the spot that the British troops were actually able to get as close as possible. Thankfully, Andrew Jackson and his men were able to keep them at bay until they ultimately retreated.
<laughs> it really is very beautiful out here. Just a gorgeous day, gorgeous setting. And looking out over this empty field, knowing what took place here, just makes you think. Let's look inside of this thing. Anyone home? I wonder what kind of artifacts were found out in this field where the battle took place. Behind the visitor center is this plantation house that's just sitting here. So we wanted to find a little bit more information about it. I think they were here. Because it's saying that this property was divided up. So I'm, I bet you this whole area was the plantation. Yeah, because I was wondering, if they, wouldn't they have just marked off where the foundation was or did they build this on top of this? That must be the original one that was there. And then they built that on top, which is this, but this is missing a whole half of the building. Yeah, it's missing this, the either the sides. Two sides. I'll be damned, look at that. What? Get her! <laughs> So this is the Malus Beauregard house, and it was actually built after the war took place. This was built in about 1833 or 1834 on this property that used to actually have several plantations that were essentially burned down or destroyed during the war. And we're thinking maybe this tree here was a uh, victim of the war. He shot the first? First gun. Oh, shit. So we found this little memorial, just kind of randomly, uh, in memory of Major Samuel Spots, who fired the first shot at the Battle of New Orleans. It's pretty neat. It says Louisiana, uh, USA, and it's got 1776 and 1976. Pretty amazing. I mean, this house wasn't here during that Battle of New Orleans, but the house was built not too long after that battle took place. So the Mississippi River is right there beyond that levee and you can see where the British would have come right over there to the battlefield from the river. It's just an interesting piece of history on top of another piece of history out here in Chalmette, Louisiana. Very cool. If you're ever in New Orleans, make sure you visit the Chalmette Battlefield. It's a very interesting place. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoodat and go pass a good time.